Hello everyone, this is Rushida. Welcome to my channel. My today's video is going to be on joint plot, another video on seaborne series. Okay, here I have all the packages I need for this video. That is import matplotlib.pyplot as plt, import pandas as pd, and import seaborne as sns. And I'm going to use the famous iris dataset as I did in my last two videos on seaborne. And you can see, I can, we can just load the data set from Seaborn library. And here we have the data set. Sepal length, sepal width, petal length, petal width, and species. We have these five features. Okay. Let's just start with the most basic one. SNS.setStyle. I'm going to use the dark style this time. Okay. Then g equals to sns dot joint plot x in x direction. I'm going to use sepal length in y direction, sepal width. Okay, it has to be string format, and then data is iris. Okay, plt dot show. Just see it's the most basic one. We just put x and y direction values. That's it. And see what happens. We get this scatter plot, right? But at the same time, we get two histograms here. So in this direction, in x direction, we put sepal length. And here we have the distribution of sepal length. In y direction, we put sepal width. And we have the distribution of sepal width. So that's why this is joint plot. It joins plots. Okay, let's just improve the plot a little bit. First of all, I'm going to add a size parameter that's gonna make these dots bigger. I like it a little bit bigger. And look at this size, this side. Uh, actually, okay, in my next plot, let me do the other stuff okay okay here what i wanted to say that you don't see there is no value there is no tick here right i need to add some ticks so that you can see the values the range of the data okay marginal ticks true okay and now if you want to change the beans or this histogram uh, parameters you can do that so again marginal okay dictionary uh, beans 25 and if you want it empty not filled with blue you can do that too fill false all right also I would like to have the plot a little bit bigger so g dot figure dot set size inches eight by eight okay then g dot set axis uh, labels okay so i'm going to change the default axis labels like sepal length and sepal width i don't want these underscores so sepal uh, length and simple width and I also would like to have the font size bigger font size of 14 so here it is do you see that we have this font size bigger and we have custom made I mean uh, not custom made just simple length and simple width but uh, not the default one you know default one it gives the it takes the column name with this underscore and everything I don't want it and the size of the plot is bigger and the beans we have 25 beans here marginal ticks true so we have 0 10 the ticks here you can see here this size this side 0 20 so you know the range of the data a little bit then fill false so there is nothing filling this bars here we have blue but actually i like it with blue actually but anyway i just wanted to show you an option all right 
let's move on to the next one I'll just copy and paste okay here look we didn't really specify any kind of plot by default it's just scalar plot right so if we want we can actually include the size uh, sorry the kind of plot right here I want to add kind reg so this this will be a reg plot uh, if you are not familiar with reg plot please see my last video I have a detailed video on reg plot and I have the link in the description box below so please feel free to check okay the kind reg and reg plot does not take the size of the dots parameter so I cannot do that now let's see here is the reg plot what is the difference in reg plot the difference is we have a regression line now we have a best fit regression line for all these dots and and you can see this confidence band right each point of this regression line we can see the confidence level confidence interval all right in the next plot I will do okay the red plot I think we have done with red plot we are done with red plot now I will use uh, a hue parameter hue uh, I hope you remember what hue is if not uh, because I put hue parameter it's gonna give you different colors for different Oh, for hue parameter, then you cannot use this marginal KWS because this is not histogram anymore. It will give you the density plot at the side. So look, here we have the hue parameter and you can see the three different distribution. Okay, three different density plots uh, for three different species. Blue one is for Setosa, orange one is for Versity color and green color is for Virginica. Here's the same. We have different colors of dots for different species of flowers. Okay, so that's what hue, the species of hue, is doing here. All right. Control C, Control V. Okay. I want to add kind again, and I will use KDE. So that I have density plots even inside okay look I have density plots here and you can see very uh, interesting here the density plot for Cetosa, Virginica and Versicolor they kind of overlaps a little bit but you can see it's a little bit different the density of it okay if you don't want the different color for different species you can simply exclude this hue parameter all right, the next plot is going to be control C, control V, and here I'm I want to use the kind hex, and in hex plot it doesn't take hue parameter. Look at it. This is the hex plot. If you are not really familiar with hex plot, I also have a different video for it, but this hexagons it shows the density of the uh, dots when its color is dark when these dark colors the density of dots are higher here and when the hexagons are light colored that means the density of dots are lower we have less density of the data in these areas okay now I want to make a joint plot look here we have KD okay but I kind of feel like uh, okay let's see KDE without a density without a hue parameter first and then okay without a hue parameter if I do the density plot it looks like this I find it a little bit empty okay not empty some people like it it's fine if you like it but I will do a plot in my next plot that will be kind of a combination plot where I'm not going to add any kind here if I don't use any kind parameter here it's going to give us the default scalar plot right 
so I can use the size of the dots here again okay and then I will add this dot uh, plot joint SNS dot KDE plot okay and then I will add the color color I'm gonna give gray color here it is look so for this one we get the dots only the skater plot and then I added a KDE plot on top of it so we have the dot skater plot and KDE plot together I kind of like this combined plot better because KDE plot gives you the density you can see that the density of the dots are higher here and the density of dots are lower here but when we have the dots in it you kind of know that you know how dense the dots are you can see it pretty clearly so I like it all right so these are all the joint plots I wanted to show you today so which which one did you like most Please feel free to let me know. And that's all for today. If you like this video, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks a lot for watching.